Ukraine between the EU and Russia. Ukraine is a country in Eastern Europe. It is the second largest country by area in Europe after Russia. It has a population of about 45 million. The nation's capital and largest city is Kyiv. Ukraine borders Russia to its east, northeast, southeast, and the Black Sea in the south. Ukraine also shares borders with Belarus to the north, Poland, Slovakia, and Hungary to the west. It has a coastline along the Sea of Azov and the Black Sea, where the Crimean Peninsula exists. Ukraine dominates flat plains, which are rich in fertile soils. The Dnieper River crosses much territory in Ukraine. Its weather is mined all year round. Warm and sandy beaches along the Crimean Peninsula attract tourists around the world. Ukrainian area has been a key center of East Slavic culture. Now it is located between Western Europe or the EU and Russia. Ukraine's geographical location has brought a lot of invasions from neighboring countries throughout its history. Even though it has been invaded a lot from powerful countries, Ukraine has kept its tradition, identity, and nationality. Ukraine's modern history has changed dramatically by its surroundings. After the Russian Revolution in 1917 and during the Russian Civil War, Ukrainian areas started to become communist Ukraine. Soon it were controlled under the Soviet Union in 1922 as Ukrainian Socialist Soviet Republic. However, some of the western parts of Ukraine kept resisting armed. These western areas of Ukraine didn't merge into communist Ukraine until 1939. Even after the forceful merging, some western people in Ukraine continued to resist with weapons fiercely even until 1956. In addition, their cultural resist has never stopped and has continued today. From Ukrainian historical and geographical backgrounds, eastern parts of Ukraine are close to Russia while western parts of Ukraine are against Russia. Noticing the importance of Ukraine, Vladimir Lenin, the communist leader of the Russian Revolution, sent the Red Army even during the Russian Civil War. He thought that the Soviet Union couldn't be complete without Ukraine. Under the Soviet Union, Ukraine was the second important and powerful member country next to Russia. As it was located in the east end of the Soviet Union, Ukraine served as a weapon warehouse or arsenal with more than 1,700 nuclear bombs and 170 ICBMs or intercontinental ballistic missiles. Among Ukrainians, there were top politicians such as Nikita Khrushchev and Leonid Brezhnev. Nikita Khrushchev ruled the Soviet Union as the first secretary for 10 years. As for Nikita Khrushchev, he was not born in Ukraine, but grew up there. Ukraine was his political base or hometown. He loved Ukraine so much that he even gave Ukraine the Crimean Peninsula of Russia as a gift to increase friendship and cooperation. Following him, Leonid Brezhnev led the Soviet Union as general secretary of the governing Communist Party for 18 years. The whole Soviet Union had been administered and managed for 28 years by these two pro-Ukrainian politicians. Ukraine seemed to be an everlasting core partner and enjoy its position with the communist Russia. However, Ukraine declared and regained its independence in 1991, following the dissolution of the Soviet Union or communist Russia. The eastern and western regions of Ukraine have a clear contrast. Eastern Ukrainian part was once the largest industrial heartland in the Soviet era with its rich reserves such as coal and iron. Having its fertile land and mild climate, western Ukrainian part has been being a biggest cereals producer called the breadbasket in Europe. People of the eastern part of Ukraine have been more friendly toward Russia, while those of the western part have been more hateful toward Russia. The reason is that the majority of the eastern people have Russian ancestors and many of the western are not from Russia. When Ukraine regained its independence in 1991, it ranked as the fourth largest military country in the world after the United States, Russia and China. It even had largest nuclear weapons next to the United States and Russia. Ukrainian people preferred peace to military power. Ukrainians loved peace so much that they abandoned all the nuclear weapons which they had. They gave up all of them to Russia. They believed that they didn't need those fatal weapons ever. Now Ukraine is recognized as non-nuclear weapon state. In addition, Ukraine has played an increasingly larger role in peacekeeping operations in other nations. In 1986, Ukrainian people had suffered the catastrophic nuclear disaster of Chernobyl, 
which was the largest nuclear accident then. Even at that time, nuclear stuff was used for electric plant or peaceful utility, not for hostile weapons. They experienced and knew how horrible nuclear stuff is. Besides nuclear weapons, Ukraine took consistent steps toward reduction of conventional weapons. Those in Ukraine loved peace. At the same time, they couldn't afford to maintain large military army because their economy got worse. Since its independence, the economy of Ukraine has been getting worse and worse. It has been going to the opposite direction from Russia, which has a lot of natural gas and oil, which have been making tremendous money from Western Europe by exporting. Ukraine's major exports are agricultural products such as wheat, which is produced from fertile plains in western Ukraine. Industrial products from eastern Ukrainian industrial areas called Donbas are mostly out of date, heavy goods like steel, and no advanced military weapons rather than advanced it goods like semiconductors or electric batteries. Ukraine has become poorer and poorer, and now it has fallen down into the first or second poorest country in Europe. With their poor economy, some Ukrainians want to be on the side of Western Europe. Others want to side with Russia. Since its independence from the Soviet Union, Ukraine has been experiencing political turmoil as well as economic hardship. Despite its declaration of independence from communism of Russia in 1991, the existing Ukrainian Communist Party still ruled Ukraine until 2004. The ruling party was on the side of Russia rather than Western Europe. Ukrainian political process for democracy was so slow that people wouldn't wait any longer. So the Orange Revolution took place in 2004. In the 2000 for presidential election, pro-Russian candidate Viktor Yunivukik was declared president. But a lot of citizens didn't accept it. They alleged that the election was rigged and protested peacefully on a large scale, which becomes known as the Orange Revolution. Following the rerun of the vote, a pro-European former prime minister, Viktor Yushchenko, was elected president. The pro-Western regime took power and went further steps to join NATO and the EU. NATO promised openly Ukraine would one day join the alliance. However, Yunivukik from the pro-Russian party won the 2010 presidential election. He had once been ousted by the Orange Revolution. He was a political top leader from the eastern region of Donbas. In 2013, President Univukic refused to sign a political association and free trade agreement with the EU, which the Ukrainian parliament had overwhelmingly approved of finalizing the agreement. A series of pro-Russian policies triggered months of mass rallies around capital Kyiv's Maiden Square. This is known as the Maiden Protest Movement, or Euromaiden, or Revolution of Dignity. It is called Revolution of Dignity because protesters were against government corruption, abuse of power, police brutality, and violation of human rights. More than a hundred of protesters were killed by the police and even police snipers. The Ukrainian parliament voted to remove Yanovach from office by 328 to 0. Yanovach fled Ukraine at night and finally into Russia. Taking advantage of Ukraine's political chaos, Russia occupied the territory of the Crimean Peninsula. Eastern parts of Ukraine called Donbas declared their independence from Ukraine. They have been being at severe war with the Ukrainian government. Since the Euromaidan protest in 2014, the pro-European Ukrainian government has never settled those pending issues down. It didn't join the EU nor NATO. On 24 February 2022, Russia invaded and attacked Ukraine. The war continues.